back again with another battery box. Just thought I'd do an updated video to show the Anderson plugs and a bit of functionality. So this is the medium box with a 120 amp hour Ritar AGM battery in it. This customer has optioned up the two 12 volt sockets. So this could be your 12 volt lights. The plug both ends. Here's the uh, twin USB, just as easy as that. Plug in your USB cord, power all your devices. This is the standard inclusion, is the uh, voltmeter with a push button. Push that to read the volts, you don't want it below 12.0. I put on a push button so it doesn't run the battery down. All got covers. There's a 15 amp resettable circuit breaker here that covers these devices over here, these ports. If the load exceeds 15 amps on the lid through these, this will pop out. You'll know something's gone wrong, remove the device, and you can push that button back in. If you buy uh, what I always recommend is the CTEC 5.0s, the CTEC's the best charger brand, and the 5, 5 amp models, the best cost effective charger for these family of batteries from 80 to 120 around about that area if you buy the uh, CTEC from me I fit the uh, the short lead it comes with the long lead on the CTEC charger you can just plug that straight in simple as leave that plugged in all year and it'll keep your battery alive for six seven eight years Here's the twin Anderson. twin Anderson plugs in the front. You might might have one from your solar panel. This might be the lead from your solar panel. There's a controller on the solar panels. It's as easy as that. Just plug it straight in here. The controller will look after the charging and charge the battery. On the other one, you might have an input from your vehicle. You could have an Anderson plug in the tub of your ute or in the back of your car. Plug in and charge from there as well. The these circuits for the Andersons can be input or output, so you can be pulling power out or putting power back in, it doesn't matter. You can also monitor your input or output power with one of these watt meters. I get these in and I put an Anderson plug each side. You can plug whatever you want in, input or output, it'll monitor exactly what's going on. Unplug your stuff, put the rubber cover back on. You can see there how secure the Anderson connection is. Rubber cover all nice and neat. It will cut off the cigarette lighter. Cut off the cigarette lighter plug on their uh, fridge. I can do that for you as well. And replace it with an Anderson. Much more secure connection than the other one. You can use the other Anderson for a fridge or something like that. As I was saying, it's a far more secure connection if you're driving for an hour over corrugated roads. No matter how good these sockets are, which they're much better than the standard ones you get in standard boxes, that 12 volt socket could eventually wiggle its way out. Standard as always is the side clips, both sides. So that's leaving the top open for say a DC DC charger for charging from your vehicle or you might put your solar controller on top here. That's about it. Thanks for watching.